Hey guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today, as you can see, I have my knotless braids in. I am so happy that I have these. I'm gonna rock these until it's time for my touch up. So since I have braids um, and a lot of people had questions about the braids, so what I'm gonna do is start giving you guys some tips and we're gonna start off with what to do with your hair before you get your braids, okay? So it is very important that you keep your hair healthy before you get the braids so that it will stay healthy the whole time you have the braids and after you take the braids out. So there are five things that you need to do to prep your hair before you get your braids. And number one is to clarify your hair. I use the Extreme Clean, um, more, uh, Extreme Clean Shampoo from the Bio Jones line, of course, to do this. And that just deep cleanses the hair, gets all the product buildup, the, um, any residue or anything like that off of the hair, okay? Then the second step is to start adding moisture. I shampoo it again, but I'm adding moisture this time with the Extreme Moisture Shampoo. And again, anytime you wanna add moisture to your hair, you don't just depend on oils and serums to do so. You wanna start with your shampoos and your conditioners. So I will start with the Extreme Moisture Shampoo. Um, shampoo that, and that's gonna also cleanse, but it's adding moisture inside the hair. The third step is to deep condition. This is basically adding even more moisture to your hair. So I deep condition with the um, Bio Jones Intense Moisturizing Treatment, and I let that sit. I comb it all the way through my hair from root all the way to the ends. Let that sit for a little while, and then I rinse that out. Okay, that's going to add your second layer of moisture to the hair. Next, after I rinse that out, I'm going to add leave-in conditioner because the thing about having braids is you do not want to put braids on dry hair. So that's the reason why I'm adding all of this moisture in these steps. So when I add the moisture um, on this step, I'm using the Bio Jones leave-in conditioner. So if you are going to purchase from my line, then uh, I have two leave-in conditioners. One is for hair that is chemically treated or um, has permanent color. So if you have relaxer or a permanent hair color, that will be a great one for you. Um, and also the one in the original collection um, is also a good choice as well. But if you have chemically treated hair, especially if it was damaged before and you wanted, wanting it to stay um, strong and healthy, then the one in the protein strengthening um, collection, that one has just a little tiny bit of protein in it so that your hair can remain strong, okay? So that was another layer of conditioner. We did the um, moisturizing shampoo. We did the deep conditioning treatment, and then we did the leave-in, okay? So after you do that, then you wanna blow dry the hair. And then after that, I take it a step further and I add just a little bit of, once it's completely dry, I add just a little bit of the Satin Moisture Cream. What that does is um, I put that on specifically my edges and my ends because those are the two most fragile parts of the hair. They tend to break first and the easiest, okay? And I know a lot of people say, well, you know, most braiders tell you to come with nothing in your hair, no product, no nothing. You only need just a little tiny, tiny bit. I'm not asking you to use a bunch because I'm the same way when it comes to my clients. Um, I've had clients before that have asked me to just style their hair. And I always say it cannot have product in it because a lot of people tend to use too much product. And then the style doesn't come out the way that they think it should come out. It's because it's too much product on there. So when I say a small amount, I mean like a teeny tiny dime sized amount. And that's if you have a bunch of hair. Okay, if you have just, you don't have that much hair, you can put just a little pea sized amount in because all you're doing, you just wanna put some on your edges and then you wanna get the very ends of your hair. You don't necessarily have to worry about the middle, the mid shaft, because you've already um, did your moisturizing with that, with your shampoo, your deep conditioning, your leave-in and all that. So you really don't have to worry. And that's the strongest part of the hair, the mid shaft. Okay, so and especially right up there by your new growth. Your new growth is really the strongest part and then it gets a little bit weaker as you go down. So that's why I like to focus on the ends of the hair when I'm doing the satin moisture cream. And of course, 
all of these products can be purchased on my website. I will have the link below, but it's um, byljonesproducts.com. And once you do all of that, your hair is properly prepped to get knotless braids, okay? So again, the health of the hair is our number one concern with this. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something and watching this video. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.